पदमासने स्थितो योगी नारी द्वारे पूरीतम मारुत धारेदस्तु समुक्तो नात्र संशय हाउ कैन वी अटेन लिबरेशन द वर्स एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस ऑफ लिबरेशन एंड दैट इज सिट इन लोटस सिट इन लोटस एंड क्लोज बोथ योर नाड़ीज बोथ योर नर्व्स टू नर्व्स विच आर टू बी क्लोज आर कॉल्ड ईडा एंड पिंगला सिटिंग इन द लोटस पोजिशन इफ यू आर एबल टू क्लोज योर ईडा एंड पिंगला एंड फोर्स द एयर टू पास थ्रू सुसुमना your kundalini awakens immediately you become free of everything you instantly attain liberation so now what is the purpose of yoga purpose of yoga is to identify yourself and add yourself with your higher self add yourself with the source and for that purpose eight limbs has been described out of those eight limbs asana is just one limb and in today's time close to about 300 asanas are being practiced all physiotherapy all physical exercises has formed the part of asanas but when you go to original yoga texts where in you want to understand the process of liberation then yama is the first part niyama is the second part and yogic exercises are systematic way of going from one step to another step the first thing what shall we practice is yam and after we have mastered yam then we can practice niyam after practicing niyama only we can go to asanas and asana as regards to the definition of yoga is concerned is a position you in which you can sit for as long as you want mastering yoga asana means you choose an asana and be there in that position for at least 32 minutes when you are there in that position for 32 minutes that means you can remain in that position for as long as you want 10 asanas has only been described you have to choose any one of that when you master the asana portion gets completed and asanas we can only master after we have finished yama and niyama what is yama and niyama yama is the restraints needed to walk on spiritual path and niyama are the rules we follow to walk on spiritual path then asanas comes in and after asana you have mastered one asana let us say you have mastered lotus or you have mastered siddhasana then sitting in siddhasana you must practice pranayama the original text of yoga has only one pranayama and that pranayama is called kumbhak holding the breath inside is called kumbhak 
holding the breath outside is also called kumbhak. So what is the difference between inside and outside? Inside is called anta kumbhak and outside it is called bahe kumbhak. And then nadi dwaren puritam. This pranayama has to be made has to be made with mantras then only it becomes complete pranayama after mastering pranayama we go to pratyahara in which we set off outside world set off all our senses and start our journey within this journey within is the essence of all the yogas. When, what are the senses? Mind has ten senses, five Gyanendriyas and five Karmendriyas. Setting off all the senses, you can slowly slow down and set off your mind. And then you have to go to the next step called conceptualization what is conceptualization in conceptualization we put our concentration on our object of concentration it could be a deity it could be a person it could be flower it could be anything and after making the concentration you go for meditation and you remain in meditation, you chant your mantras in meditation, you get connected in meditation till this meditation becomes permanent. And what meditation is? Meditation is not when we are getting disturbed by anything what is present outside of us. Meditation is being one with the object of meditation. This meditation is also of several types. Meditation on something, meditation on nothing are the two basic type of meditations but later the meditations becomes of several types. And when this meditation becomes permanent then you don't need to sit for meditation. You are cooking, you are into meditation. You are doing anything, you are with your object of meditation at all the time to come. When that states come in, then that state is known as Samadhi. This can all be attained by several practices including the practices of mudras and therefore all other seven limbs, then mudras, then hurdles and obstacles on the path of yoga, this all forms the yoga in which you try to make 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. That means that yourself gets connected with the universe, with the supreme self and you become one with it. This is the whole process of yoga. It is much beyond asanas. Asanas is part of it, but it is beyond asanas always. I wish that all of us be able to understand in depth meanings of this and be able to attain liberation. Thank you so much.